What's happening, fellas? Did you know the denim jacket was invented in 1880 by Levi Strauss? Well, if you didn't, you know that now. And we're also going to be talking about why you should have a denim jacket in your wardrobe for the spring season. I went out and I bought four different denim jackets to see which one I liked best because I wanted to add it to my wardrobe. And we're going to be showing you how they fit, how they look, and which one I think is going to make it into my closet on this episode of The Style is Real. Alright, so denim jackets. They've been around forever. As a child of the 80s, I saw preppies wearing them, I saw punks wearing them, I saw bikers wearing them. Everybody was wearing denim jackets. They've risen and fallen in popularity, but now they're back and you see them everywhere. I've seen them on celebrities. Idris Elba, Ryan Reynolds, James Bond is even wearing them. If they're good enough for James Bond, why aren't they in your wardrobe? Why aren't they in mine? So I went out and I bought four different denim jackets to see how they fit, how they feel, the quality, and I wanted to pick the best one. Now I had some requirements. I wanted raw denim, or as close to raw denim, I wanted a dark denim jacket, because I think that's the most versatile denim jacket you can wear. You can wear it with light denim, you can wear it with chinos, you can even wear it with wool pants if you dress it the right way. And I wanted something that's going to last, because the best thing about denim is when it wears in and it really gets that personal look. So I wanted raw denim, and if you've had raw denim before, and I've had a lot of pairs of raw denim jeans, you'll know the more they wear in, the better they look, and they become a pair of jeans that only you have. So I was looking for the raw denim. I wanted something that fits me really well. I bought, obviously, Levi Strauss. I bought Gap. I bought Uniglo. And I went out and I bought Unbranded. And if you don't know the Unbranded name, you're going to after this. So let's take a look. And we're going to start with the staple in denim jackets, Levi Strauss. All right, so this is it, the Levi Strauss trucker jacket. This has the heritage that goes back to 1880. Everybody has worn Levi's trucker jackets. You've seen them on everybody, so I figured that this one was going to be a no-brainer. This is their Rigid 2 uh, wash. It's basically raw denim. This has a great feel as far as the quality of the denim. I mean, you, you, you can't beat it. But for me, the second, the second real concern that I had was the fit. And unfortunately, the fit on this isn't exactly what I would have liked. While I really like the quality of the fit, it's, the sleeves are a little long on me. I had to go with a large so all and all of these are larges so for this one the sleeves are a little long it fits me a little a little weird in the shoulders it is a little bit tight up top even in the large but i wasn't as worried about that because the denim this, this raw denim is going to stretch out a little bit and it's going to form to my body so i wasn't as worried about that it doesn't fit me as well as i would like it to and unfortunately because i had to buy the large it's a little longer than i would have liked the denim jackets usually sit right around your belly button maybe a little below this one hangs down to right around my hips, which is, I think, a little long for the look of a denim jacket. But I was really disappointed because I was hoping that this denim jacket was going to look great on me. I really wanted the Levi's jacket, the Levi's trucker jacket, and it's, it's just not what I hoped it would be in, as far as sizing goes. If you can get it to fit you, if you've got the body to fit into this, I definitely think this one's a no-brainer. And as far as the price went, this, is a, this was a great price. I think this started out at about $80, but I got about 20% off because I was a, a new purchaser on the Levi's.com website. So it ended up at about $56. I think there might have been some other sale going on. So for $56, the quality of this jacket, you really can't beat it. It's just unfortunate that it didn't fit me the right way. So we're going to have to keep looking. So now we have the Uniqlo denim jacket. I, as you know, Uniqlo won the last challenge I had of the peak polo shirt. I had, a, I had high hopes going in for Uniqlo in this one. I went online to look up their, their denim jacket. Interestingly, their website's sometimes a little weird. They list the same product multiple times, and it's hard to tell if it's the same thing or if it's a little different. This, they had two of the dark wash, what looked like the raw denim jackets. One said that it came from the cone denim, uh, cone denim mills, which if you know about denim, cone denim is high quality denim. So I was really excited about that one. They were only $39, so I mean, that's, that's an amazing price for a good denim jacket. So I ordered the one that was from the cone denim mills, allegedly, and not the other one. When I when it arrived, I picked it up, I was surprised, number one, because this one doesn't have pockets. The other jacket does have pockets. They look almost identical, but this one doesn't have pockets, so that's a little strange. That put me off immediately. The fit on this one is great. 
This, uh, this is 99% denim and I think it has 1% elasticine or spandex or some kind of stretch. So it feels like it fits very well, it moves very well. I really like the fit and I like the look of it, but this denim is incredibly thin. It, I, I mean, this borders on denim shirt thickness and it doesn't have that substantial, durable feeling that you really want from a denim jacket. This would be a great just fashion edition if you, you know, just want an extra jacket and, you know, 40 bucks isn't a big deal because, again, it does fit good. It looks really good. This is, this is the large and it fits me almost perfectly like it was made for me. The sleeves are just about perfect, but it's the quality, the thickness of the denim. It's very disappointing, but it's, uh, it's not going to be making it into the wardrobe. So we're going to keep moving on. Gap. Where else are you going to go? If you can't get jeans at Levi's, you go to the Gap. And Gap had a number of different denim jackets. This was their darker wash denim jacket. Uh, I went into the Gap also hopeful. I have a lot of pairs of jeans from the Gap too. I really like Gap's jeans. They have that heavy feel to them. They use good denim. Their denim always feels very sub substantial. I really like the feel of their denim. They also have some jeans from the Cone Denim Mills. This, this denim was not. This is also, again, the large. This one, uh, this one does fit me pretty well. The sleeves are a little bit long. I do like the fit of it. I could, I could button it closed if I wanted to. It's not too tight. It fits me pretty well on the chest and the shoulders. But it, the denim itself isn't that rigid, raw denim that I was really looking for. And I, I really wanted a denim that's going to wear in over time. It fits me. It fits me great. I, I don't have any problems with it. I'm just not, a, again, I'm not a fan of the feel of the denim. It doesn't have that heavy feel that I was looking for, that heavy weight of the denim. The price of this was also very reasonable. Started out at $74. I got it on one of Gap's always constant sales. I think I ended up paying about $59 for it or $60. So it was, it was reasonably priced. Not quite as cheap as the Uniqlo. Um, about the same price as the Levi's jacket and well worth it. But again, for what I was looking for, not exactly it. So I think we're going to keep looking, and there's one more to look at. And what is this? This is Unbranded. If you've never heard of Unbranded, it's a company out there that not many, as many people know of. It's much more popular within the denim head kind of circles. They make quality, um, very thick, durable denim. This is the raw denim I was talking about. It's got that stiff, almost cardboard feel that you know is going to break in well over time. I think this was a 13 and a half ounce denim, which is a, a solid weight for a denim jacket. It really has that, that substantial feel to it that I was looking for. The fit is nearly close to perfect for me. It, I, it, it barely buttons right now, but I think it'll stretch out and probably button a little better if I wear it enough over time. There's no stretch to this like in the Uniqlo jacket. This is pure denim, pure raw denim. I think this is, this is actually even the selvage denim. This is a very expensive jacket, at least in, in my mind. This was almost, I think, $128 on their website, which is, a, which is an investment for a denim jacket, especially for a fashion piece that, you know, it depends on how much you're going to wear it. If you're going to be wearing this a lot, if you work in a more casual environment where you can be wearing a denim jacket every day, you know, this, this might be a, a worthy investment. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant over the $128. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this one. I'm going to have to think about it, run the numbers, see if it works into my budget. But it is a, it's, it's a beautiful jacket. It does fit me very well. It's stiff. This is a very stiff jacket. This is going to take probably 10, 15 wears before it really starts breaking in and moving with you. It almost feels like a suit of armor that you're wearing. But can't argue with the quality of this denim. So the great thing about Unbranded is it's a sub-brand of Naked and Famous, which is a more high-level uh, denim company. They, they make a lot of more expensive clothing. Unbranded is a little more affordable. They have a lot of jeans that they sell on their site, and the whole their whole gimmick is there's no labels, no tags. They're unbranded, and they just rest on the quality of the denim themselves. This jacket is up in the air. I do, uh, I do really like it. I, I don't know, uh, I just, I don't know if $120 for a denim jacket is, is tough when all the other jackets were in the $40 to $50 range. So you're talking about almost three times the price of the jacket, uh, and is it worth it? So I'm going to leave it to you guys, actually. I want you to check it out, look at the four jackets, see how they looked on me, tell me what you think. I don't know which one I'm going to keep, so I have a few days left on this one before I have to return it, or I'm just going to buy it, because Amazon is going to make me. So what do you think? Which one did you like the best? Was it the Levi's? Is it the Gap? Is it the Uniqlo? Or is it the unbranded denim jacket? 
And I got guys, if you don't have a denim jacket in your closet, you should definitely go out and get one. Hopefully this helped you. And I have to say, for me, I think if I could have made it fit, I would have gone no doubt with the Levi's jacket. Go, go out and get yourself the Levi's uh, rigid fit jacket. I, it was really great quality. It just didn't fit me right. And for the 56 bucks I paid, that's a, that's a great price for a great quality jacket. I think I might have to go the more expensive route to get something that fits me the way I want and to get the quality of the denim that I want. But we'll see. And it's going to be on you. So let me know what you think. What you think of the denim jackets. Please, if you like this video, like it in the bottom. Uh, subscribe to my channel. We're going to keep reviewing different pieces of basic clothing that everybody should have in their wardrobe and in their closets and you should be wearing all the time. We did denim jackets. We already did the peak polo shirts. Next week we're going to be doing khakis or chinos and that's a, I mean, everybody's got to have a good pair of chinos. There's a lot out there so I'm going to hopefully sort through the mess and help you pick the ones that are the best. So hope you liked it and guys I'll see you next time. Stay stylish. Mm -hmm.